Welcome to the Karma Self Podcast. I'm Nadine. Join me to learn how to connect with the karma version of yourself. I'll share with you my tips and coping strategies for reducing feelings of stress, overwhelm and guilt so that you can live a productive life with ease and joy. And there'll be inspiration from other wellbeing therapists, experts in relaxation and fellow calm crusaders. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to another one of my Karma Self podcasts. Today, I am joined by the delightful Kate Schultz. Now, I hope I've pronounced that correctly for you, Kate. Yes. <laughs> now, Kate is an author. She's an author of the book we're going to talk about, Soul Primer. She is also a life coach. She's an inspirational speaker and, wait for this, this is brilliant, a mystical weaver and a sage. So hello Kate, welcome. Welcome to my oh. podcast. Hello Nadine, thank you so much for having me here. I'm excited to be with you today. I'm so pleased to talk to you. I, I think the first thing to do is to talk maybe I think about your book because it is so brilliant. I'm going to put the picture up here so everyone can see it. So as you can see I've got a lovely copy. Thank you Kate. Soul Primer. Now, for those of you that are listening to this, it's got a wonderful cover, hasn't it? And there's so many lovely, vibrant pictures in it as well. It's, it's a real feel-good book, isn't it? I really love it. And it's Soul Primer, Building Blocks of the Soul. Now, I love that. And that, to me, does explain what it is here, because you've got everything in it, haven't you? It covers so much. So could you start by telling everyone what your inspiration was to do this, your passion, your joy, what brought you to writing this book? And I know you're passionate about sharing it with everybody, aren't you? So, so tell us how you got there. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Thanks. Um, so as a, as a life coach, uh, I work to help people transform their lives. People come to me with issues with their family or their job or their kids or whatever it is the relationship and of course I help them with those specific uh, issues but what I found invariably over the years and I mean invariably every time is that um, what was underneath the presenting problem that they wanted help with was a lack of basic skills that if they had if they had those basic skills they would not need to come to me for help because they would be living a trouble-free life so I'm kind of trying to put myself out of a job Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. So I wrote this book because for the, co you know, my, I'm, I'm not cheap as a life coach. I mean, I, I'm worth every penny, of course, but you know, mm. some people think they can't afford that. And, you know, for the price of one book, you can have all of those skills, which will then make your life so trouble free that you won't have to go see a therapist or a life coach. I originally, when I first put it out, um, it came out right at the same time as COVID. Um, oh. Yes, it did. And so um, I originally, um, my first press release said, uh, 26, there's 26 letters of the alphabet and it's an ABC book. So I said, oh. 26 ways to leave your therapist was my press release. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's perfect, actually. Well, I, I didn't want to offend anybody. And I no, actually, I, that's a counselor, at one of my first events, a counselor bought one and I said, does that offend you? And she goes, not at all. No, she said, I no. love that because we mm. don't want people coming to us year after year after yeah. year. What we want is for you to go off and live your beautiful life. And, and yeah, so that's, yeah. that's what I created was a, a kind of a toolbox in the shape of a book um, to give you all of the basic skills. So it includes things like, you know, empathy and kindness and gratitude and abundance and beauty and yes. um, joy, joy, a hope, you know, things that you can actually practice. Those aren't things like, gee, I was born with that or I wasn't. No, you can practice mm -hmm. them. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Put myself out of a job. <laughs> well, that's good. I I'm with you on that one. That's why I call what I do Karma Self, because I teach people how to do things for themselves. So like yes. I say, they don't have to come all the time. And this is what we need, isn't it? Like you said earlier, a toolbox. And this book does carry everything. I love the fact that to me, it's it's really hits me as very simple, very childlike almost. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of pictures. It's got a lot of space in it. It's got very simple I wouldn't say instructions, but guidance. Like you say, you take a letter, you choose a word, you choose a topic and you explain it beautifully. There's poems in there as well, isn't there? Poetry. There is, as I say, beautiful pictures. And for me, that that really is, it's very accessible, isn't it? People can, they'll look at it and they won't be scared off. They will go, oh, I can do this. And that is yeah. important, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, because um, in my life coaching, I would often assign a book to read for the, you know, 
particular person. And so many times they said, well, I read a chapter, I read a little bit or whatever. And I thought, you know, we're busy. I mean, people are busy just trying to get through their day, you know, get everything done that they need to do and get up the next morning and do it again. Yeah. You know, the truck drivers, the waitresses, the clerks that, you know, just everyday people in the world um, don't necessarily have time to meditate all day long or to do yoga all day long or to, you know, watch web spiritual webinars all day long. So they need something quick and easy. And so yeah. That was my goal to make it easy and accessible to step down the path of spiritual growth because we're all spiritual beings in a physical body, mm. just spiritual growth to reach optimal health so that you can live that trouble-free life. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm a little bit one of those people. I never start a book at the beginning. I will <laughs> look, I will see what attracts my attention. Quite often I'll look at the back first. I'm just yeah. like that. I'm sure I'm not the only one. No. And if I'm right, it, it it's nice. I know that you send lovely supporting <laughs> emails so that you can go through um, and you give a little bit more information, don't you? And that helps people to go through yeah. it week by week. But... As I say, if you're a bit like me and you want to dip in, that doesn't matter, does it? You can just read yeah. the bit that resonates with you, the bit that you might yeah. need for that day. You can just do that, can't you? Dip in, dip out. For sure. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's, a lot of people say I read through the whole thing because it's not a difficult read. Again, it's no, inaccessible. It's I read through the whole thing and then I went back and I did yes. the, the, each concept week by week to raise my awareness. So, I mean, it's a 26 week program. You open up the book on Sunday. We have a group of people all around the world that sort of together, open the book together on Sunday, and they read the one page of text, and then there's an exercise that you practice for one week. Um, so that's sort of the program. Mm -hmm. And I have people that have gone through it like three times, and ev they say every time they go through it, uh, you know, they, they learn more. They, they go yeah. a level deeper. They peel back another layer yes. of that. Yeah. yeah. And um, so, but I have other people, like this one gal, um, she follow started following me on Instagram, and um, she had a, it was like, I knew she, I could tell she was fighting cancer. And she said, I just open it at random. And I, and I, and then I leave it open on that page for, you know, the day or whatever. And she said, every time it falls on that, she became the sky poem. She said, I just cry. Yeah, I just cry. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And yeah. so, you know, people use it like tarot cards, I guess. They just like, oh, what's yeah. my message? Day. well you can can't you because i'm i'm yeah. a great believer in like if i do pick up a book like you say just let it fall open that's what yeah. i need to see that day that is the way it goes and that's a lovely way to use it isn't it yeah you can do that and yeah. as i say if you just look at a picture that might just be what you need or one of your poems like you say yeah. you don't have to make it a hard slog it's not that way even if you do it the way you suggested no. but you can just take what you need from it it's all there and it's, yeah. it is simple to use isn't it and i really do love that so you say yeah. you've got a you've got a group that is that's online i take it and you say it's worldwide people join you yeah for the in the, throughout the through my email program people sign up for it and what the way it's set up is that we turn the page on sunday and then you know everybody works through that letter and then the next Sunday, we turn to the next concept. So we're kind of, you know, doing that sort of sort of a global community, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I want to say in reference to what you were just saying, another uh, guy told me that he uh, just leaves it open on his breakfast table. Mm -hmm. And he said, one, one morning, um, I was, it was open to D is for divinity, which is a very powerful one. Mm -hmm. Once we recognize our own divinity, boy, we step into our own power. And, but he said, it was just open on my breakfast table. I'm eating my oatmeal and I sit down and I look at it. There's a poem on that one. And he said, he said, I had been thinking about starting up, a, doing a startup business. And he said, but I had pretty much decided not to because, you know, he's like 69 years old. He said, I don't know, you know, that I don't even know if it's going to be successful. Do I, you know, so Anyway, he said, I saw your poem and the last two lines of the poem say, uh, my powers are being called and I can no longer play small. And he said, I just like that just like hit me in the forehead. And he goes, I have to go start up this business. So he did. He started up the business. He did it with a Kickstarter campaign. And it was one of the top funding Kickstarter campaigns of all time. It's now a multi, multi-million dollar company in just, you know, in just a year. So, I mean, yeah. just, you know, and you just, like you say, you don't know when something's going to hit you just right. Mm -hmm. That's Boy. the magic. And really, I mean, I wrote it. I, I, I mean, I, I, yes, I wrote it, you know, I did the typing, but I really felt like it was downloaded to me from the universe. So, yeah. so yeah. it's coming. I'm just a channel for this and it's coming to you from the universe with all of that power. Mm, that is so lovely, isn't it? And, and I think that's the way it works, isn't it? Really? Like you say, it's through you 
to it as a gift to everyone, isn't it? It's that that way. And I know you're quite keen for people to use it if they run groups themselves and things like that as guidelines. And that's yeah. really lovely, isn't it? And yeah. I think it's a really nice thing to do, isn't it? People that are maybe trying to support other people in a group, yeah. way, they, they can <clears throat> use that too. Do you offer personal support for that or is it something that you just... I do, I'm, working, I'm working on a sort of... Yeah, I'm working on a certification program mm. um, where people can become trained to walk other people through the book. Definitely. Because again, it is so simple. And I mean, my goal, my vision is sort of um, to have people all around the world forming little communities where they, they're they sitting together once a week and talking about empathy. They're sitting together once a week and talking about hope. They're sitting mm. together once a week talking about how to be fearless, you know, mm. because this is the new, this is the new earth. And, um, you know, I mean, Nadine, I know that you are all about this too. You're all about helping people find that path to wholeness and wellness. And so, you know, through meditation for you, I mean, I'm a huge fan of meditation. Um, and I, and I incorporate it in little ways into the exercises each week. Um, so it's just a gentle step-by-step -step process of getting to where we are all really members of the new earth. Mm, yeah. That's, yeah, my, that's my my grand vision, world transformation. Yes, <laughs> yes, just, just a little one, <laughs> world yeah. transformation. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's true, isn't it? And I think, again, like I said earlier, it's, it's almost childlike in the presentation of your yeah. book there. So that means to me, it strikes, I used to be a nursery school teacher and I just think, you know, you could use it in for young children, you could use it for teenagers, yeah. adults, even older people, you know, and there's no limit, is there, to who, male, female, yeah. anybody could actually yeah. use this in whatever That's shape or form they want. Yeah, and as an author, we're always told to limit your audience. You can't say everybody. You have oh, to no. say women over 50 or teens between the age of 14 and 18 or whatever. And I thought and thought, about what that would be. Yeah, I've done that with previous books, you know, limited my, okay, it's this audience, but the audience for this book is literally everyone. Yeah. Now that said, I am in the process of creating a children's version of it that's got more room for doodling and oh, stuff like lovely. that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I am, uh, I do have an audio book that I'm putting out and I am going to create, I'm creating the second book too, that's going to be called Soul Primer, um, Becoming a Spiritual Warrior, which speaks to more more yes. to what we were talking about where those of us who are already down the path who are already pretty you know ver well versed in practicing these concepts can then start stepping out and becoming a spiritual warrior and leading other people along the, the path you know kind of a, a whole nother 26 uh yes. concept because there's yes. more to refine the whole <laughs> the whole world wow so but, there's um, lots but more you, to come, you, yeah when you talked about the childlike aspect of it, so W is for wonder. And I do believe that when we reconnect with that childlike part of us mm -hmm. that sees wonder, that sees wonder in everything, in a snowflake or a, a new bud of, on the ground, um, I think that we create our own heaven on earth yeah. because, we, the, because earth becomes wonderful. Mm -hmm. becomes like heaven and you know this book is not religious it doesn't you know cater to one religion or another um but like i quote jesus on that page because mm -hmm. jesus said when we if when we become as children we um let's we we enter heaven we yes. to enter heaven we must become as children yes. so this is the way to become as children in a way mm -hmm. embrace that simple beautiful original spark soul that we mm -hmm. came into the world with yeah and then we create our heaven on earth which is like what we're doing in our in yes. the KS media yeah. group app mm -hmm. I, so um for those of you guys who are listening and maybe haven't heard this before but nadine and i are both members of this this um up and coming fantastic app it's called the ks media group app yes. and it and it is a group of people like ourselves uh, people that are really stepping out into this new earth reality and um, offering ourselves to help bring everybody else along. Amazing people that heal trauma, that teach gratitude, that teach confidence, that do meditation like Nadine does. I mean, it's just a really fantastic group of collaborative and cooperative and beautiful souls creating a new way. 
beautifully put Kate I couldn't have said that better myself because it's so <laughs> it's where I met you isn't it so I'm very grateful yes. for that and you're yes. absolutely right you know it's a place for everyone to be together and we've all got you know we're all passionate about what we do and we're passionate about getting it out into the world because yes. like you say creating we are already creating our own heaven on earth aren't we yes and that is the message loud and clear isn't it so yeah. so KS Media Group get involved you'll see I'll put all the links below this this video yeah. everyone can get involved you'll find everything that Kate does there and what I do and lots of other wonderful people yeah. so you're very busy you're very full of uh, wonderful ideas can I ask you how do you find your calm self in the middle of all this busyness and all this production that you're doing how do you yeah. connect with the calmer version of yourself well, I am glad you asked that um, because my my really go to uh, resource is meditation, and um, so I want to say that when I so I owned a flight school for a number of years. So I was a pilot, and I was like you said very busy. I at the same time I was running another medical equipment company, so I was very busy, very and mm -hmm. raising three kids, busy, busy, yes. busy. <clears throat> so my nickname at the flight school was Whirlwind because oh, I'm, I'm like you said I'm, I've always got stuff mm -hmm. going on, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and I tell you that because I have heard from many people and I've coached people that tell me I can't meditate. I mean, that's great for people like you that are already calm, but I can't meditate. And I, I say that's not true. Everybody is able to meditate. And I've taught people who think they can't meditate to meditate. Um, I mean, I guess one of the things I would say about that is that when you say you can't do something, you're, you're, you can't do it. It's true. You you're can't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. If you say that you can, then you can. I mean, mm. it's it's very simple. It's just mm. in the simple word of I can or I can't. So once you believe that you can and you start, mm. it's such a fantastic way to calm your soul. Yeah. And so I started meditating years ago. Um, there have been times when I've been, uh, you know, it's difficult. We all have difficult times. You know, we're in a big move or a relationship issue or whatever. And during those times, meditate. I meditate for survival. Meditation yeah. is like a survival tool for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I get up in the morning when in those times, I'll meditate a lot. On a regular day, um, I'll get up in the morning and usually try to meditate a half an hour mm -hmm. and yeah. um, just get myself centered. If then in the middle of the day, I feel like, oh, I'm, I'm a little bit fractured here, then I'll stop for a few minutes yes. and I'll do another little meditation. Um, so that's really, that's really my primary thing, which I, you know, I know Nadine, that's, that's your, that's your message. So I, yeah, I love it. It about so you. is. And it's so lovely to hear that, that you remember to come back to it when you feel the need, yeah. because it's always there for us, isn't it? I always say, just tune into you for a moment and it yeah. doesn't have to take long. You're absolutely right. You can do it in a yeah. few simple breaths. You know, you can do it quickly and easy, especially if you've built up that habit, that practice. And yeah. it can be, and it's so beneficial, isn't it? Just to remember every now and again, tune into you, whatever way works for you, because we all do it in a different way, don't we? So, so I love that you do that, and that really helps you centre, and it makes you more productive, doesn't it? You obviously are. Oh yeah, proof of that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, you yeah. can run around like a chicken with your head cut off, and then you, mm. but you stop and you get grounded. Yes. And get centered, and you know you. Just get center of your being mm -hmm. and you breathe and suddenly you're able to focus yeah. you're able to achieve things with a, a calm strength and energy mm -hmm. um i will one thing about meditation i i mean i love that meditation and mindfulness are so popular now yeah. you know lots yeah. of yeah. apps you can do a meditation app and you know those are great um for getting used to getting into the meditation practice um but i will say that beyond just a 10 minute quickie um a deep meditation is really um, beyond beyond just like calming. It will take you to another level of creativity yes. and innovativeness. Yeah. And and I mean, I can't tell you how many uh, inspirations I've had in the middle of a meditation. I usually keep a journal by my side. Mm -hmm. So if I suddenly pop open a girl, I got to write that down. Yes. Right. So yes. meditation is really for me. Yes, it's calming. Yes, it's centering. But when I go deep, it is a connection to it's getting rid of all the static mm, mm. and connecting myself to source. Yeah. See, because, you know, I mean, my, I, I believe, and I think in the new earth, we will all function like this is that we ha each have a spark of the infinite cosmos in us. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. when we connect to that, we are basically connecting to an immense power that's way mm -hmm. beyond what we can think of on our own. Yes. 
Yeah, you're so right. And, and immense healing, too. I healed myself in meditation. This, this is the thing, isn't it? And I'm so glad that you mentioned that because a lot of people go, I can't do it. There is so much benefit to persevering with it and learning, experiencing those longer meditations. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. That's where the deep healing comes. That's where what I call the magic comes. Because yeah. you will get ideas, you'll get things. I, I do a lot of meditations. Sure. I always say it's meditation for a purpose. And it can be, I do it myself, you know, I need a bit of inspiration. I need an idea. I need to think something through. I go, right, I'll just get, sounds a bit silly, but a bit co co-productive, but I want to get out of my head into yeah. my heart because that's where the answers come. Like you said, we, we know yeah. it all. We've just got to, we've got to tune yeah. out from all the busyness, tune in, and then things come up. And it is, it is something that can take a bit of time. When I first started doing longer meditations, I was guided. I went to a group. I went to someone to guide because I thought I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, but I did. And I went to a place that was quite amazing. And it was lovely to experience that. So now having and I think it's the same with anything. If you've experienced something that your body and your mind and your soul and your heart enjoys and gets benefit from, you will do it again, won't you? So right. it's that right. kind of thing. So it's really lovely to think, yes, there is a place for quick and simple meditations. But there definitely is a place for a longer yeah. productive meditation isn't there for whether it is like you say absolutely whatever i love whatever. what you said i love what you said that's where the magic happens because yeah. it's totally so i think so this is my only complaint about how popular meditation and mindfulness is now because by people say oh i meditate i do this i do it 10 minutes a day on this with this app and i'm like i mean that's great but don't limit yourself you know go i mean go deep mm -hmm. really because mm -hmm. Like you said, that's where the yeah. magic happens. I think we can say that to everyone. We can encourage everyone to try some different types of meditation. Have yeah. a little go at something they haven't done before. Yeah. yeah. Because we we can definitely say you're going to benefit from it. So you're absolutely right. Let that be yeah. the message for everyone today. <laughs> yeah. And I and I uh, I have to say about Nadine. So I meditate on my own. So I don't typically do guided meditations. I can, I, I can spend a long time meditating and have amazing experiences. But I recently had a. a a meditation with Nadine Indeed, and yeah. it was about an hour I think and it was just so wonderful oh my gosh I just it really was like I'd gone to the spa <laughs> oh, <not beautiful. laughs> and, I mean I literally I felt like I'd had a spiritual massage mm, you know my I mean, you know yeah. when you get a massage you're like oh my, my body feels good I felt like I'd had a spiritual massage like, all day long I was just like wow <laughs> I feel yeah. really good <laughs> lovely I so enjoyed doing that with you and we did it yeah. over the internet didn't we it was a virtual yeah and it yeah. was it was Again, I'm going to say that word again. It was magical. We connected so well because you can, can't you, that way? Yeah. And and it was. I could tell by the end of it, you know, you, I could see a difference in your face and everything. And it, just that wonderful connection. And and just lovely for me to be able to give that to you. You know, it is, it's, it, it is, as I say, magic, isn't yeah. it, that we can do this. And and anybody can. Anybody can yeah. do this. You can access it wherever. Um, and yeah. I and I, I, I'm excited about joining your, I just joined your Facebook group, the Calmer Calm yourself cafe is that yes it is yes that's right yeah i love that <laughs> and you know because really and so i mean it's interesting because of course i i want to promote my book because i want to change the world but i also really want to promote what you're doing because meditation is such a key step to changing the world mm -hmm. so you know if the more people that get on board on all of this stuff the quicker we're going to see that transformed world i think so. that's the thing isn't it it's that kind of you know together we can create something magical and we're already doing yeah. that, me and you aren't we you know we've we've met quite recently you know yeah. not, not in real life but you know we have yeah. that connection and we are sharing the same message yeah. in a little bit of a different way and that's something yeah. that is again it's truly, truly beautiful isn't it to be able yeah. to feel that passion and connect and who yeah. knows you know in the future what we might do together you never know for sure for sure. But you know what, for, I mean, I, it, it's interesting because, um, you know, with all the, all the stuff, people still see wars and hate and anger and, you know, homelessness and poverty and, and hunger. There's so much stuff going on in the world, but really, you know, if we all start, you know, become that, that the spiritual warriors that I think you and I both are, yeah. we can change that. That's my, that's my hope. Yeah. I, I love your, your optimism and your enthusiasm, it's, it's infectious. And I really love that because I think you're right, but people need to hear that, don't they? And I yeah. always do ask people in these podcasts, you know, for some words of wisdom. And now you might have some more, I'm sure you have, but what you just said is, is like, a, it's a hopeful, optimistic 
yeah. message for everyone, isn't it? That we can yeah. create it ourselves. And we are whatever else is going on in the world, how terrifying it might be, how much we buy yeah. into it, we can actually create. And we are creating this wonderful world right here, right now, aren't we? So I yeah. really feel so is there anything you'd like to add to that? As I say, I've said words. Yeah, words. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, just to go a little bit, I mean, really to even touch on when we said earlier, if you say mm. I can't meditate, you can't. Yes. It's true. Yeah. If you say you can, you can. So, I, I mean, I hear so many people say, oh, it'll never change. You know, it can't. I mean, it's just the way things are. You know, there's oh. never going to, but there's are always going to be wars. There's always going to be hate. There's always yeah. going to be hunger. So we've, we create our reality when we say that. So when you say I'm optimistic, I'm creating a new reality in my own mind. Yeah. And I think, I think it's important that we recognize that we create our reality um, right now that's going to affect our future. But if we base it on looking backwards, we're never going to create the future that we want. I mean, I don't look backwards and say, oh, that's the way it's always been. So that's the way it's going to be. I look at this moment right now at what I'm creating and the people that are part of my team and part of our media, KS Media Group app and part of that. What we're creating is real right now. Mm -hmm. So the past doesn't matter what happened. Yeah. So yeah. I encourage people, I guess, to... Stop looking over your shoulder and going, I can't, or that'll never work, or that doesn't happen, you know, and look at right now, how you can recreate yourself right now, mm -hmm. and then move forward into the new reality yeah. of new earth and the new and the heaven mm -hmm. on earth, mm -hmm. because it's real. Mm. If you make it so. Exactly. That's the key, isn't it? And the fact that we can create our own reality. We have that power, don't we? And it's lovely yeah. that you're reminding everybody we can do this. You know, yes, we've got we've all got a past, we've all got history, we've all got reasons why we're not doing things that we want to do, mm -hmm. but we have a choice. And I think that is so wonderful that you you've shared that with everybody today because people need to hear it, I think. Well, and just real quickly too, um, you know, I know sometimes people, well, yeah, that's easy for you to say you're not, you know, hungry or you're not homeless or whatever. I've had a hard life, man. I, I grew up in a very poor family. I started working when I was 12. I put myself through college. I mean, all through my life, I have transformed myself step by step by believing that I could. Yeah, yeah. I look by saying I'm making my change right now and I'm moving forward. And guess what? It worked every time it's worked. Mm, it has so, been. I mean, don't think that I just, Oh, I had, I was born that way. I was born into it. That cush, mm. cush, cush mm. and comfy life. I wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's so important, isn't it? Just to, it, yeah. anyone can have this. It's so anyone important. can do it. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I love that. Thank you for sharing that too. Okay. So obviously we talked about people can find what you do in the KS media group app where else can we find you Kate because so, I'm sure people will want to connect with you and get involved in all yeah. that you do where else can we find you yeah you, you know the e probably probably the easiest place is just to go onto Instagram and go to at soul primer which is the name of the book so yes. at soul primer that's yes. easy um and then and or my website is kate schultz author.com you can reach me there email um you can get on my my fantastic totally free uh, email program that's super robust. I mean, it's just so inspiring. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the easiest way. It's Kate, C-A-T-E, S-C-H-U-L-T-Z, author.com. Yeah. yeah. That is wonderful. Wonderful. I will put all oh, of I your should details. Say, this is, it's available on Amazon. So you can look on Amazon to yes, get the you're book. Right. You're right. Yeah. It's available. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Get it. I <laughs> want to get it. You won't regret it at all. But yeah, I will put all of your details, contact details okay. underneath all this okay. as well. But for people that are just listening to this, you've spelt that out beautifully so everyone can find you. That is wonderful. So I would love to talk to you for ages. We've got so much that we can say. So I'd yeah. like to say at some point in time, do come back and tell us a bit more about what you're doing because I know there's lots that's going to be happening. So yeah. I welcome you back at some point in time. But for now, I'd like to say thank you very, very much for being such an inspiration and getting everyone keyed up for today. So thank you so much, Kate. Yeah, thank you, Nadine. So lovely to be here with you. And thank you. Looking forward to talking again soon. Yes, it would be lovely. Lovely. I'm sure everyone will look forward to that as well. See what you're <laughs> up to next. So thank okay. you very much. Bye bye then, everybody. Thank you for listening to the Karma Self podcast. Please rate and review. And if you want support, advice, accountability, and inspiration to make the changes you need to manage your stress and live your life with ease and joy, check out the Karma Self Facebook page 
There's also more information on LinkedIn, Nadine Award-winning Changemaker. And please visit my website, www.karmaself.co.uk.